Well, it's the 23rd of July, and I'm standing on top of the bed right now, and as you can see, Cotton's taller than I am now. Um, yeah. That's six and a half foot. This is only July. Uh, so what's that? That's 78 inches? Um, that's, that's the height of 44D last year. Um, yeah. This is just a general update of the cotton. I'm gonna flip the camera around real quick and give you a rundown of how everything is going. So as you can see, the sunflowers are done. Um, having worrying results here. Pretty much all of the new bulls that have been set in the last month have yellowed, browned, and fallen off. It's, they are just not retaining any bulls. Like, there's one that's being retained with the damn stink bug. And down here, these, these early bulls at the base of the plant, like that, they're doing just fine. But, actually, I kind of picked the worst plant to show you. This one right here is doing really well. Um... But, see, like this, just tons of, tons of shed bulls. They seem to mostly be on the other side of the plant. Now, they also never greened up after I fed them sulfates. And, you know, I provisionally fed them boron before they even really started setting fruits. And the soil test said that they had, you know, pretty good levels of boron to begin with. So there's, I can't feed any more boron at this point. It'll start getting into toxic levels. Uh, and all that rain that we had, that was about done after a week. So this has been ongoing. And they just seem to quit, keep shedding bulls. I don't really know what to do here, other than just wait it out. Could be that it's too hot. Uh, it's been dry, hyper humid, and over the 90s for you know, several days now. Um, that's my only thought, is it's just been really dry and really hot, and the cotton just has been stressed, and so it's dropping fruit. Uh, it can't be nutrient-related at this point, and if it is, there's, I have no idea what it is. I've already done a soil analysis. But the plants are healthy, and the plants are big, and they are setting fruits. It's not all of the fruits. And we'll see as it goes, as time progresses. Well, it's August 10th now. It's my uh, predicted first day for picking. So we're out here looking for any open bowls. And that looks like it might be doing something right there. It's definitely opening. Uh, let's see if there's anything worthwhile in it. This one seems kind of sickly though. Yeah, that's a sick bowl. More of that garbage from last year. Not really too much in there worth saving. We're just gonna leave that like that for now. I will mark that down though. All right, let's get back to looking. That one's about ready to pop. And that one looks healthy. Whoop. 56 has one that looks like it's just about to pop. Um, have not found any more open ones so far. I think I found one other one that was getting close to this. Good number of uh, nice looking bowls, but they're all down on the bottom. Uh, still a lot of dead bowls up on top. Um, so I think like last year, we're going to have a pulse of picking at the start of the season, and then it's going to go dry for a month, and then it'll pick back up. Um, although they don't really seem to be setting anymore, uh, they, they have a, it looks like they have a, a very set amount that they want to have, and, uh, they're sticking with that, and they're not putting any more on. Alright, down here, 63 has this weirdness going on, I don't know what this is about. Um, yeah, it's just got two down here that are, like small and all hardened up 
And then it's got one over here that's black, so I think this might be disease related. Never seen that before. These are definitely hard locked though. Yeah, there's there's nothing usable in either of these. Yeah, so that's some kind of disease, so there's three gone right there. Well, as you can see, the sunflowers are gone now, and uh, the transplants are doing okay. Um, don't really know if they're setting anything or not. Didn't really look like it, um, but I still got a couple. Doesn't look like they're dropping them yet. Um, but yeah, they're they're way behind. They're like two months behind. So anyway, we're gonna check the, the east side now, which is a lot more uh, weedy. So that'll be fun. I'm sure I'll pick about 40 ticks off me at the end of this. And over here at 68, we got something. It's uh, pretty nasty looking. Another one of those early bull rot ones. But uh, it's an open bowl, technically. Uh, so we'll mark that down, but that's that's still not a clean one. That's probably um, opening a little early because of bacteria. As I'm walking through here, haven't found any uh, haven't found any more open bowls. But I would just like to note that the the color of the cotton has improved significantly. Um, as you noticed uh, back in July, it was that sort of nasty yellow green. Well, it's a uh, it's improved. Um, you know, it's still got some green or some yellowness to the new look growth, but um, everything else has deepened up. Uh, I guess they've uh, finally started building up the roots or something. Um, don't know. Uh, don't know whether they were they had too much water, not enough water, too little nutrients, growing too fast, something, whatever. But whatever it is, it seems like they're starting to bounce back from it. Uh, at least vegetatively. Uh, these things are huge. Like uh, these, these are all like six foot plants right here that you're seeing, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, I think that guy right there might be the wolf plant. Anyway, let me get back to looking. This one's getting real close, and it's looking real good. That's the next weaker, for sure, right there. Once they, once they start browning their leaves like that, they're about to pop. Well, that's all she wrote. I uh, went through the whole thing, saw some really nice looking ones that are about to go, but really all I got was two nasty premature bowls. And that's, that's what they do when they've uh, got too much bacterial blight in them. They, they open early, and you can, you can tell just by looking at them. You see how there's still color in the leaves? and it's already open. Yeah, when when they're when they're truly mature and they're not opening due to sickness, uh, the bowl stays uh, totally green and then the leaves brown. Then the bowl opens. Uh, but it, but if it's open and the leaves are still green, that's usually a bad sign. Uh, well that and the the leaves have, you know, these spots and crap on them. Anyway, I'm going to go back through and I get some height measurements just cuz I'm curious. There's our current biggest plant. It's uh, number 60. It's 81 inches tall. And we got one other one over there, that one right there. It's 80 inches tall. So they're, I'm gonna say they're tied because that's a, uh, it's within the error of this, this yardstick that I'm having to use. So pretty consistent. I measured a couple that were in the high 70s. So some big ass plants. Uh, they still got all of September, all of October and most of November to keep growing. So, they're already over six foot, pushing seven. So, I'm hoping we see at least nine, maybe ten. All right, and here's the Hutchinson House cotton. I'll be frank, looks like shit. Yeah. Uh, hadn't really changed in a month, has it? Uh, only gotten worse. As the uh, deer just won't just won't quit. Transplants are still, for the most part, alive though. 
need to go through and take down mortality readings. I only see about maybe a half dozen that have croaked. Um, but yeah, uh, they're just, they're not growing. They're not putting on any height. They're just uh, getting ate up. Don't really have any weed competition because it's all down here. Uh, Guatemalan, uh, yeah, it goes doing pretty good though. Look at that, even got seeds. And I think I still see the Carolinas down here, wherever they are. There's this one. This Carolina indigo is still alive, still kicking. Uh, it's been ate on too. As you can see, deer just eat on everything. Too many deer out here. I think that was the other indigo. Yeah, that one croaked. Damn. Oh yeah, they're restoring the house now, so that's happening. Uh, I've officially given up on these, as this is not going to make a crop, and it's not worth uh, me going through any effort uh, to, uh, you know, spray all these weeds, kill them off, put up a deer fence, and start irrigating. These aren't going to produce. It's not worth it for this year. Uh, so we're going to call this a bust, and uh, I'm just going to try and keep my weed barriers intact. And uh, come November, December, we're going to tear this up, and we're going to make sure to till it a bunch. I'm going to come, do, come by and do a pre-treatment of the ground, you know, a couple weeks before I till it, till it, let it sit, do another pre-treatment, uh, four in the beds, put it on the barriers. Yeah, we'll call it there. But just on the cusp of new bowls. Till then, time out.